Hey folks, uh, today I'm having a quick look at creating a tutorial here for uh, using Joystick Gremlin along with an Xbox 360 controller. Now I've started using the Xbox 360 controller with DCS flying in the front seat in the Apache because it's quite well suited for the type of controls you need. Um, so the triggers uh, which are uh, labeled LT and RT are actually analog axes on the um, Xbox 360 controller. So if I press left trigger, you see it's an analog axis there, but it's going between 0 and 100% plus. And the right trigger, when pressed, goes from 0 to minus 100. So that's what it currently operates like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, these into a two-stage trigger for each of them. So first off, select your device. Make sure your profile set. I have multiple profiles here. So I'm going to set this for the very first profile because all other profiles are slaved from it. Which means if I set this up once, we need to set it up once. So scroll down to split axes add. So this adds our um, our setup here for our first thing that we're wanting to do. So go to remap add, and then I'm going to select a button on my virtual device. So what's going to happen is analog inputs from your actual Xbox 360 are going to run into Gremlin. Gremlin is then going to use the rules that we set up in here to make it do stuff. In this case. I'm going to tell this when I go to the virtual button setting. I'm basically saying, look, between 10% and 100% of travel on this axis, that's plus 10%, plus 100, then I want you to output button 1 on virtual device 1. So if I act, activate that, I'll bring up our input viewer, and then I'll bring up our VJoy device as well. So this is the buttons that it's reacting to. So there you go. I'm pressing that axis, and once it gets between 10% and 100%, and then button one, and VJoy's device one will go active. So we'll now just do this uh, for each of the other conditions we want to use. Split axis again, add. Go remap, add. Scroll that down. And then what output do we want? We're going to go for button 2. And then we're going to go to the conditions. And in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use plus 95% to plus 100%. So this is the second stage of the left trigger, basically, here. So activate. And what happens now is I lightly press and button 1 goes active and it's held down and then when I squeeze it all the way fully button 2 goes active. So that's basically created a two stage trigger on an analog axis on my Xbox controller. So we'll just do the same again for the other button. So remap, add and then this time I'm going to use button 3 and I'm going to set the conditions for it in the virtual button tab here so in this instance I'm going to go minus 10 minus 100 and then I'll set button 3 that axis add again remap add and we're going to go button 4 and we're going to set it from minus 95 to minus 100. Let's use this opportunity to save and activate. Okay, so let's try the left button again. There you go. One, then two, and then the right button. Slightly activated, just press lightly and all the way is four. 
Now, one thing you'll notice here is it's mutually exclusive. So don't be binding commands where you're going to need to do too much. So there you go. That's the uh, basics of how to split up an axis into four different buttons. So basically turn in your two triggers and uh, two two-stage triggers. Yeah, I hope this helps. Take it easy, folks.